Hello, and welcome to my very own tier list. Now this ain't some lazy tier list where I go on some website. No, I went way out of my way to get this whole whiteboard. I went through so much trouble. Like, anyways. But uh, yeah, today I, am, I wanted to rank uh, some Mario games because it is approaching the anniversary uh, next week. And there was the announcement of the uh, 3D All-Stars uh, last week. Or, yeah, last week. Um, and I, I don't know, I just wanted to rank them. It's always really fun to rank uh, different things. Uh, there's a lot of, I have to rank 19 games, which is a lot. But, I'll go through them quick. Especially the first few ones, because they're all just kind of, you know. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, I just want to say before I start, I am doing Super Mario Thon starting on the 11th, this Friday, which is like tomorrow. Um, I know, amazing late announcement, but uh, I just wanted to say because Super Mario Thon is always really, really fun. You can go follow my Twitch and I'll be streaming every single day. Uh, until next, uh, Saturday. So, it's gonna be, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of Mario games. Anyways, uh, let us begin. So, first up, we have the original Super Mario Brothers. Now, <clears throat> wait, I don't know where to put this controller. Now, uh, I have it right here. So, I'm, I have all of these cut out and everything. Um, so, Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers, the original, is such a... It's a game that I can always come back to. I don't know if this is like this for anyone else, but this game, I can just always come back to. You know, just... I don't know, like, you know, I'll be on the Switch online, I'll be like, you know what, I feel like playing some Super Mario Brothers. I don't know, it, this game just never gets old for some reason. Um, the only problem is that once you get a game over, you have to go all the way back to the start. There is a command that you can do uh, that will it'll send you back to the you know the world that you were in. But with this game, I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's a really good game, uh, but Mario games have improved so much over the years, and uh, yeah. So let us continue. Next up is. If I can get this tape on. Uh, next up is Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. This is the original Super Mario Brothers 2. This game was not brought to America for a very long time. Well, outside of Japan. Um, but this game was not out. Is because they thought it was it would be too hard, and it is a very hard game. And I feel like a lot of places it's just unfair. Um, I one thing I didn't say about the original Mario Brothers. I don't like. The mechanics that much in that game because I'm so used to modern Mario games where you can jump and you can you can control yourself really well in the air but in the original Super Mario Brothers you have to dedicate your jump you can like slightly move but not really that much so I'm actually gonna put this game in I'm gonna have to put this game in E tier <laughs> I'm gonna be honest all right, well, next up we have the actual Super Mario Brothers, at least here. Uh, this game is actually, it's not a Mario game. <laughs> like, that's the thing about it. This was originally a Japanese game called Doki Doki Panic. And, um, I don't know. This game, it's just so weird. It doesn't feel like a Mario game. Like, that's the thing. It doesn't feel like a Mario game. And that's what I really don't like about it. But it, it has some good stuff in it. I mean, it is the first game that brought, like, Shy Guys and things like that. Um, it's just, it's a weird Mario game. And, like, there, there are some games out there that are weird and it's good having it weird. But, like, this is, it's, like, too weird. Like, it just, it doesn't feel like Mario, you know? Anyways, this goes D tier. Okay. Next up is one of my favorites, 
Super Mario Brothers 3. I love this game. This game is so great. I, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put it in A tier. That might surprise a lot of you because, I don't know, I, Mario 3, I just, all, each and every level just feels so different from the last, and I don't know, it's just, I feel like it's the perfect 2D Mario game, at least to me. Like, it's, I don't know, there's just, the only, the only issue I have with it is probably like the water world. I hate that water world, it's garbage. Um, but besides that, I really love this game. And I really love the challenge in this game. Like, it's it's pretty tough, but it's like a perfect balance. Like, uh, uh, the Lost Levels, that game is just... It's like way... It's like spikes in difficulty, like, from the very start level. Or, you know, very first level. But with Super Mario Bros. 3, it's like... It's so balanced, like, throughout the game. I guess except for the water world. <laughs> Um, yeah, Mario 3, and like The Last World 2, like with all the tanks and everything, uh, I really loved uh, Mario 3, so I'm putting it in A tier. Alright, so next up we have Super Mario Land, which is probably a game that a lot of you, one, have not played, and one, probably forget about all the time, and I, I kind of forgot about it too, but I've played this game, um, it's pretty good, I really like the, the soundtrack. I really like the the one Super Ball item you can get uh, in that game. It was pretty fun, but this game, I don't know. It's kind of weird too, um, but I don't know. It's a pretty good Mario game, and it was the first on a handheld on the Game Boy. Um, but with this game, I'm gonna put it in D tier. I I'm gonna put it above, or not above, but just ahead of Mario Two. Okay. Next up is Super Mario Land 2, the, what, the golden, the six golden coins. This is a really good game, and, like, nobody ever talks about this game. I, um, this is, like, way better than the original Mario Land, in my opinion. Like, this game, it's so weird looking at the original Super Mario Land and then looking at this game, because this game, I don't know, it seems like such a big advance. It looks a lot... I don't know, it's kind of like, I don't know, but I really like this game, I really love the levels in it, I think the most, the best level to me was the moon level, where it's like, you know, the gravity is different and everything, I really like that, so with this game, I'm gonna put it above Super Mario Brothers, even though Super Mario Brothers is a game that, like, I can always come back to and play all the time. S Super Mario Land 2 is, it's, just a, it's a great game, and if you haven't played it, um, definitely give it a try. Alright, next up, Super Mario World. Now, I put Super Mario Bros. 3 very high, and with this game, it's going into B tier. I, like, a, a lot of people consider Super Mario World the best one, but for me, I personally, um, yeah, I personally, I don't know, I just don't really care much for Super Mario World. When I first played it, um, I remember beating it, and I'm like, that was it? <laughs> like, I don't know, it, it feels way easier than 3, and it's also, it's so short to me, um, and also, there's like that mystery forest. I hated that mystery forest as a kid. Um, but, Super Mario World overall, it's a good game. Like, all of these games are good. Um, I mean, maybe not for Lost Levels, it's all so low. But, um, yeah. Super Mario World, uh, it has, like, still today, that game looks amazing. Like, the the pixel art in that game is just great and of course the music is great but that's that's for every mario game you know um but yeah that's where i play super mario world okay next up super mario 64. now this game this game right here this game 
never gets old to me. I said that about Super Mario Brothers, but this game, there is just a magical charm in this game. And I don't know what it is. There's just, I don't know if it's like Polygon Mario, <laughs> and then it's like the low poly Mario, but there's some things just so special about this game that I just love so much. And I will say, like, a lot of the final levels, like the Rainbow Cruise and TikTok Clock, um, <laughs> like, those levels, they're not that great. Um, but, like, overall, just every world feels so different. Every... And I don't know, it's so fun. It's so crazy how old this game is, and it still feels good to play today. I will say that the camera is definitely a problem, um, but once you play it enough, you'll get used to it. Um, and I don't know, it's just a really fun Mario game, and I'm actually going to put this game in S tier, because I don't know, it's just so fun, and collecting all the 120 stars, it's not like difficult or anything. like. It's not something like the Korok Seeds in Breath of the Wild. Um, but I love Super Mario 64. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a good game. Next up is Super Mario Sunshine. Now, this game, this game right here, is a game that I, I actually have the most memories of Sunshine. I, like, out of any Mario game, I have the most memories with sunshine it wasn't my first mario game or anything this game is difficult and not fair there's a lot of levels in this game that are just complete garbage <laughs> like i'm just gonna straight up say because you have like the sandbird um, which is like fine, and then it turns over, it's like, um, hello? Um, but like, not only that, but you have like the bloopers where you have to race, and if you hit a wall, you instantly die. Or if you don't win the race, you instantly die. And then you have to collect them all, you have to collect all the eight red coins, and it's like, if you, it's like, oh my gosh. But, there's so many spikes in difficulty in that game. And the thing is about this game, you have to collect all seven first sprite, all shine sprites in every level. So in Mario 64, you could just do whatever level you want. You know, if there's a level that you can't really do, or that's annoying to do, you can just go to a different world, or maybe go around the castle, find some other star, you know? But with this game, you have to do all seven. I think there's like nine in total for each world, but you have to do all seven for every single one. It's like, but yeah, and the world, I, I do like how they're connected, like how you can see um, the other levels in the distance and stuff like that, but I don't know, the, all of them are just so kind of similar where it's all tropical and everything, and I like it more where Super Mario 64, it's, um, a lot more variety, you know, um, I feel like there's another thing I have to say about this game, oh yeah, the bosses, the bosses are not that great, but to be honest, the bosses in all Mario games are not that great, like, even in 64, um, because, you know, you do Bowser, like, three times, and it's, like, the same every time, basically, um, but yeah, Super Mario Sunshine, where do I place this game? I'm gonna place it in B tier. I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But it's still a great game, don't get me wrong. I still love this game and I have many memories with it. I remember <laughs> getting the game. I traded um, someone in middle school. I had a Nesquik milk and they're like, hey, if you give me that Nesquik milk, I'll give you Mario Sunshine. I'm like, okay. It's like the, that's the best trade uh, in my entire life. I don't, I don't think anything can top that. All right. 
Next up is Super Mario 64 DS. Now this game is basically Super Mario 64, but there's quite a lot of differences in it. Um, this is a game that I, this game was the, one of the first games that I really got into uh, when I was a kid. I would play this game non-stop. There's so much to do. Like, even in Mario 64, there's so much to do. But they added even more in this game. They added uh, Yoshi, Luigi, Wario, a bunch of stars. They added bosses. And they added mini-games. Um, now, what a lot of people say about this game is that the controls are a problem. And they are. Because not having full analog control for Mario or, you know, the rest of the characters, it's really... I don't know. It's not that great. Like, it's bearable, but I would rather play the original Mario 64. But the thing is, is that this game has so much more content um, with the new characters and everything. But the thing is, is that there are power-ups, things that you have to do that are blocked behind using these characters. So if there's this big black brick and you're playing as Mario, you can't break that brick. You have to leave the level, go all the way upstairs, get war, and then go all the way back, and then, well, yeah, and then you have to go back into the level, go back to the black brick, and then you can break it. It's like, I don't like how they did that. Um, so, yeah, because of that, it's like... Because it's annoying just going back and forth, back and forth. Um, but, I mean, it's still a good game. And the mini games. Yo, do you guys remember the mini games? Oh my gosh. If you guys remember uh, Luigi, it was like, let's go. Where you tossing out the cards. The um, Luigi, the poker. That I played that game for hours. Hours, hours and hours. I, you know, it would be going on like a yeah, day trip and I just be in the car just playing all day just poker I wouldn't be surprised if I played poker more than uh, the actual game itself but with this game I'm gonna put it in a tier I'm just a tier below Mario 64 just because of the fact that um, the analog control issue and also the issue of constantly switching the characters. Um, so, yeah. I mean, the thing is, my opinions will always change. Like, there could be a day where I'm like, alright, forget Mario 64, we're going with DS, <laughs> like, above. Because opinions always change. Um, like, with Zelda games especially, my opinions change all the time for them. Um, and I definitely want to do a tier list for that sometime uh, as well. Next up is New Super Mario Brothers. This game is great. There, okay. There, there, there's the New Super Mario Brothers two, New Super Mario Brothers U, and everybody hates the everybody hates the series now. Everyone hates the New Super Mario Brothers series now, but the original two. The first two new Super Mario Brothers games are great, and especially this game. This game um, feels really unique to the other new Super Mario Brothers games. It might be because of there's like bosses in that game that just never appear ever again. Um, but this game, it's really great, and um, I don't know. Th this is actually one of the first games that I. I owned. Actually, I think it was the first game that I owned. And I think, yo, the blue shell, remember the blue shell item in this game? That that item was cool. They need to bring it back. That, that item was so cool. But I'm, I'm going to put in B tier below, or not below, next to Super Mario World. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm just going to place it there. Okay. Now. Super Mario Galaxy. This game, I remember playing this game at a demo in Best Buy. And, I, I, you know, you're walking around the 
Observatory or whatever it's called. And I was like, wow, this game's cool. And I eventually got it. And everyone praises this game. Everyone praises this game. But to me, I don't really feel it. <laughs> and I don't know. Of course, the music, the, like Mario Galaxy, best music in the series. Of course, like, hands down. But there's something about it that I just don't enjoy. Like, I love the atmosphere as well. That's another great thing. But I think what it comes down to is that it's linear. And then it's also... I don't like the controls of the game. Mario in that game feels very, very slow. Uh, which is probably wrong. Like, you could probably compare each game. Um, and probably, you know, maybe he's faster or something. But... I don't know. And I... <laughs> I... I don't know! I, like, yeah. And then the... I didn't like it being linear. I really like, with Mario 64 and Sunshine, how open it is. I really like that. Um, like, Galaxy is somewhat open, um, but it's mostly just linear, you know? Um, so with this game... I mean, it's not like I'm gonna put it in D. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but no. This game... It's gonna go in A tier. Which, I know, like, everyone else puts this... They put it in S tier. But I'm, like, the one person that... I don't know, I just can't really get behind Galaxy. But, with, um... Super Mario, you know, the 3D All-Stars collection... I may like it. Like, more than any other Mario game. Um, because one thing with Twilight Princess that I hated was that you had to waggle the Wii remote to swing your sword. I hated that. But when I got the HD version and you use an actual controller, I like the game way better. <laughs> um, and I feel like that might be the same with Galaxy. Because with Galaxy, I don't like waggling the Wii remote to spin. I didn't like that. Um, so now with it having a button to spin, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I don't think that will be, it won't make a huge difference, but I think it will make a slight difference. Okay, next up is New Super Mario Brothers Wii. New Super Mario Brothers Wii, like I said before, the first two are pretty good. And, um, this game... I think I'm gonna put behind New Super Mario Brothers. Like this game, it was it. It felt like New Super Mario Brothers DS, but just a bit bigger. And then of course you had the multiplayer, which was a great addition. Uh, people ask that for years, you know, um, with the original Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers. Um, so yeah, but it will take a turn. <laughs> Very soon, and we'll get to that, uh, yeah, soon. Alright, next up is Galaxy 2, which I have somewhere here. I don't know where the heck it is. Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> Mario Galaxy 2. This game, it's a good game. And, um, well done. <laughs> I was just, my camera cut me off. It ran out of memory. Amazing. So I don't know where I left off where I was talking about Galaxy 2, but with Galaxy 2 I'm placing it right behind the original Galaxy. All right, the next game Super Mario 3D Land. This game is pretty great. Uh, this game is very linear <laughs> Like I talked about linear games, but yeah, this game is the most linear uh, Well, at least 3D game um, this game is pretty good. There's a lot of extra content in this. Um, you do the first eight worlds, and then there's eight bonus worlds. Um, there is a lot of reused levels and stuff like that, but 
I thought it was pretty fun. Um, with this game, I'm going to place it above New Super Mario Brothers Wii. New Super Mario Brothers Wii, it's a good game, but I don't know. It just feels kind of bland, um, but not as bland as some other games coming up soon. All right, we're getting close. Next up, New Super Mario Brothers 2. This was on the 3DS. This game, I, a lot of people even, they forget about this game. <laughs> this game is bland, boring, feels like no charm to it. When I, I was super excited for this game when I was com when it was coming out. Uh, I don't remember how old I was. When did this game? 2012. So I was 12. Yeah, so. <laughs> I no, 2012. This game didn't come out in 2012. This game came out in like 2014, 2013. I don't know. Anyways. Um, yeah, this game is just kind of bland and boring. And I'm going to put it in D tier. <laughs> I think here. Because <laughs> like I would rather play these two Mario games than New Super Mario Bros. 2. Because it just feels like even though Super Mario Bros. 2 is just so weird and different, I would rather play it than New Super Mario Brothers 2. There is like the the little challenge things that you can do where you run and you try to grab the most coins. That's fun, but like there's not much to it. And plus you had to buy a lot of it. So, all right, next up, New Super Mario Brothers U. Now, with a lot of the most recent Mario games, I have all of them. Uh, I haven't been showing all of them that I have here. Uh, but with this game, I don't have it anymore because I don't ever want to replay it. I don't know why I have st I still have New Super Mario Brothers 2, though. Uh, but with this game... With this game... I'm putting it in E tier. <laughs> this game is just... It's so bland. It's so boring. It feels like New Super Mario Brothers 1.5. They added, like, little baby Yoshis and, like... I don't know. It's just so boring. And you can beat it so quick, too. And second to last... Super Mario Brothers... Or... Not Super... I'm too used to saying new Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario 3D World. This is a good game. Uh, and I'm very happy that they are going to bring it to the Switch with new content. Um, I'm very interested to see uh, what they're cooking up with that game. It's fun, especially with... Uh, when you have someone around. This game is really fun. And, yeah, I'm excited to do... I mean, I don't know. I don't really want to buy this game again. Because it's going to be $60, but like, oh, it's like I have to. I don't know. We'll see how the, the new content is. But this game, it's a good game. Like, look, oh, god dang, look at this. Wait, is it cut off? When are they, there's, what? What game is that? It's... Oh my god, it's like cut off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bring it in. I didn't even, I didn't even realize. Okay, there we go. That's, that's better. Uh, okay, so... Super Mario 3D World. Where do I put this game? There's, oh my gosh. This game, it's good. I, I don't know. <sighs> Where does it go? I don't know. Um, I think I know. Alright. Well, one more game and... That game, you can see, well, you can't see <laughs> right behind me. It's right here! Super Mario Odyssey. Now, where does this go? This game go? If you've paid attention to what I've been saying, talking about how I like open worlds, and I also like good controls, uh, this game, it's above all of them. <laughs> I know a lot of people do not agree with this. I know that a lot of people do not like Odyssey. Everyone loves Galaxy. Everybody, everybody and their grandmother loves Galaxy. But for me, it's Odyssey. Odyssey has its problems, of course. Every game does. Not just every Mario game, just every game. <laughs> you know, even Breath of the Wild, of course. But like, Odyssey, it has too many moves. Like, that's the that's the biggest thing. Why did they have to go all the way to 999 goddamn moves? 
No! Ugh, <laughs> oh, like, and like a hundred of them, you have to buy with coins! I mean, at least they, they added the, um, the Luigi balloon thing. But, like, that wasn't there at the start of the game, so it was, like, a pain. It was a pain to get all those moons. Um, I didn't collect all of them, though. I've only gotten, I think, around 800. Um, but, like, yeah, with Odyssey, I just, I love its movement. I love its movement, its controls. To me, it is the best... It was my phone, my god. It scared me. But Super Mario Odyssey... I just love how Mario controls in that game so much. I feel like you... It's like you, you're you flying in that game. You know, like, you feel like you are so good at the game, even though you're not really. Um, I don't know. Odyssey is really fun. But not just because of its controls, but I really like... Um, you know, the different worlds, um, it has, and the fact that once you get a moon, it doesn't kick you out of the level, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, the thing is with moons is that there's, there's so many, and there's some that are just, like, right out in the open. Um, I really do hope for a sequel. There, there could be one announced somewhat soon. Um... Yeah, I think it would fix a lot of issues that people have, and I think, to me, it would become my most favorite Mario game. I know, like, a lot of people say that, like, the game is so short, but it has so much content in it. You know, like, I understand, because, like, a lot of people, they just stop at the, once they beat the game, but, I don't know. I just really enjoy it. Um, I don't know. I... It's kind of funny, because, like, so with Galaxy, I'm always, like, I don't know, I just don't feel it as much as other people. Like, I feel like as soon as I say that I don't like Galaxy as much, everyone re raises their pitchforks and torches. I hope, I hope that won't be uh, everyone in the comments, I hope. Um, but, yeah. Um, I would be very interested to know uh, how everyone else thinks. But on this tier list website, um, you can look at like other people's tier lists, which I didn't know uh, that was a thing. And I was looking at it. It's like, it's so different for everyone. And it's so interesting. So, um, yeah, you could just go down in the comments. And um, I'll, I'll link this tier list I have. It's missing... Um, is missing Mario 2, uh, Super Mario 64 DS. I think those are the only two games that are missing, though. But yeah, I'll link that below, and uh, you could also come join the Discord as well, because you could just post a screenshot of it. We could just have a discussion there. Um, it's always very fun in the <laughs> Discord server. I was actually, I was setting up this whole, uh, the whole board and everything yesterday. I was going crazy. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was like, I was slipping all around, I was like showing off a bunch of stuff I have in my room. It was really, I don't know, it was really weird. Uh, but it was fun. Remember that Super Mario-thon starts tomorrow, which is like, ah, I don't know, it's like, it's so crazy, it's like, uh, and then also with my, you know, it's like, oh, where's, where's the videos? I mean, this, this is a video, right? This is, it's like an actual video, you know, after like two years, but I have an actual video that I recorded all of it. Um, but there was one thing that I did while recording for every clip and it's just, it's going to take a long time. Uh, I was planning on getting it, uh, out this week, but I wanted to switch this to this video instead. Um, because I, I want to announce Super Marathon because I... I can't move Super Mario Thon because it happens on the anniversary. Um, so yeah, but it's gonna be really fun. I love playing like all of these new, oh, not new, god dang it, I can't, 
all of these Mario games, it's just fun. Because you can just kind of like speed through them. Um, sorry that this video is like really long. I really try to, like I try to plan, kind of plan it out before where I kind of know where to put everything, but it's just, it's, it's hard to condense putting 19 games on a board, you know? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this style of me like placing, like actually placing it instead of just being on a website because I don't know, it just seems kind of boring to me. Uh, and I wanted to do something different. So yeah, even though this took me like five hours to set up. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, goodbye. <laughs>